Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach. So just just don't make a, a judgment. Just let me know what you think about this idea. I want to sell one and a half breakfast tacos. <laughs> that's that's the store. That's the store. There's one plate, and that's the title. One and a half breakfast tacos. That's it. And you're getting sour cream whether you like it or not. You're just gonna take it. Uh, there's a lot of places where they're like, uh, so would you like a salsa or pico de gallo? And I'm like, no. They're like, yes, no. You're getting it. <laughs> like, like, they're like, that was a formality. We're three miles from Mexico. You're getting pico de gallo, whether you like it or not. Uh, so uh, anyway, um, uh, I was gonna do this as a community post. I actually started writing the community post, and it just started going on and on and on and on. It's like. I think I can get a video out of this. So in the latest issue of Batman Urban Legends in a backup story, and that's kind of that's kind of sad right there, they finally, after teasing it out for the last three issues, said, yep, Tim Drake is gay. And I said, yep, it's 2021. So I was getting bothered <laughs> because the, uh, the industry has devolved into being a magician that knows literally one trick. You want to see me pull a rabbit out of my hat again? Ben Affleck. Uh, so, <laughs> so uh, they turned Tim Drake gay, or did they? Because is there a point at which you've written a character so far out of character that it literally doesn't count? Uh, I remember back in the day when they had that storyline. It was uh, J. Michael Straczynski, and he's like, uh, Norman Osborn had a secret child with Gwen. No. Nope. With Gwen's... Nope. I'm not even letting that... Nope. That's not even landed. Nope. You're not even getting in the door with that one. No. That didn't happen. It did happen. It's in print. It's canonical. Nope. No. Nope. I instantly rejected that. You have... There's a thing called headcanon that you can just make up. Did Doc Ock go on a date with 75-year-old looking 95-year-old Aunt May? Nope. Never happened. Wedding never happened. None of that stuff happened because it's weird. <laughs> There's this great scene from Atlanta where, where uh, this one guy turns to the main character. He's like, "Stop acting weird!" And he's like, "I'm just, I'm just sitting here." <laughs> so um, they had uh, Tim Drake. I literally like bought like the first comic he was in. I literally saw him be tra trained. I saw his first costume. This is a character that's never even hinted at being gay for 30 years. And so he's been written completely out of character because it's 2021 and they literally do one trick. Here would be my challenge. Because you know the editor can't turn this idea down. When this gets proposed, the editor's like, God, geez, it's gonna happen eventually. There was this thing uh, last year with the lockdowns where they made this rule for the state. Um, and then everyone's like, uh, like two months later, one of the cities realized a way to get like get around it, something with masks. And then uh, the governor was like, oh yeah, you guys could always do that. I was just waiting to see how long it would take for you to you know, figure it out. Uh, <laughs> so when you're an editor, you just sit there. It's like, okay, so who's gonna be gay today? Who, who, oh. oh, Green Arrow, classic ladies man. just. I mean, yeah, the signs are all there. Just trying to hide his, his homosexuality. Yeah, just everyone. Just, they're all gay. They're all gay. Population of DC Earth is, you know, 350. Uh, but, um, so at one point, the editors are kind of trapped. Once they get it proposed, now they are in, in the unenviable position of in 2021 telling, in this case, is a female writer, no. You can't make that character gay. The thing is, they know, even if they don't run immediately to Bleeding Cool or BuzzFeed or whatever, they know it's just going to sit there. In five years, this woman's going to be getting, you know, an interview, and it's like, you know, it was really rough, you know, with the homophobia. I proposed that Tim Drake be gay, and so-and-so, and let's say his name, and let's destroy his career. So you're just like, yeah, yeah, fine. Just, just. This would be my challenge. I would say, I love that idea. We were actually just about to do that. So what's your fourth storyline afterwards? And it's gonna, they're gonna, what? Okay, so revealing that he's always been gay. You're not changing him to gay, he's always been gay. And we just didn't notice in hundreds of comics 
half of which we could actually literally read his thoughts that were floating above his head. He's always been gay. And, th and then this TV writer who knows nothing about the character is like, oh, totally, totally. Yeah, he's totally gay. So the first story is uh, revealing how he's always been gay. Okay, so the second story is him coming out to everyone. His, you know, family, which is all genius detectives. And it is never noticed. I remember uh, one time Gail Simone was writing this storyline where uh, Batgirl had a trans roommate. And then the uh, trans roommate comes out and you expect the next line to say, oh yeah, I knew I was just respecting your privacy. But Gail was trying to do the thing where it's like, oh my gosh, you can't tell trans women apart from other women. Like you, you can't. So of course Babs was like, oh my gosh, really? It's, I remember seeing this thing and they literally pointed out that like men and women, like their elbows hinge at different angles. Like if you're relaxed, a man's arms will kind of angle in the forearms and with women it'll either be like straight or even like out a little bit because they have hips um but like <laughs> i just love this i just i just wish bass would be like really i mean i always thought it was a weird that you had an adam's apple but i just oh i accept you <laughs> so they do this thing where it's more important to uh, uh to uh flex and virtue signal uh, for Gail Simone than to write Batgirl in character as a genius detective and say, oh yeah, I, the, literally the first time I saw you, I knew you were trans. And that was like from far away. That was from like a block away uh, because I saw how, you know, your arms were ankled. So, um, so now when, you know, I would say, you know, what's your fourth storyline? Because the first storyline is coming out of, you know, revealing that they were always gay, not turning them gay because they were always gay. Second storyline is just coming out to everyone. I remember in Supergirl, her sister, uh, Foss, is it a foster sister? Her human sister uh, came out of the closet. And they literally had three episodes of coming out. Let me come out to my friends. Let me come out to my coworkers. Let me come, up, come out to my family. And you know what the storyline was? Everyone was accepting. Th that's not a story. That's, that's not a story. Can you imagine this story? Bruce, I'm gay. No, you ain't. No, I'm gay. I'm going on a date with this twink friend of mine who hasn't been in the comics in five years. You're straight. No, nah, you're straight. I'm a genius detective, and you are straight. <laughs> so um, uh, th there's no drama. That, that's not a story. Coming out to three different groups and everyone just accepts you, that's not a story. So we get basically these like non-stories, like this like tofu is just taking up space. So first story, they were always gay. Second story, coming out. What's the third story? Discrimination, which is usually the really, really imaginative writing of random bigot on the street yells something uh, homophobic. That's some, just, that's some nuanced writing right there. So okay, so you've uh, revealed that they were always gay, had them come out, and deal with the bigotry uh, storyline. What's your fourth storyline? And it can't be them guiding one of their friends who also finally realized they're gay or trans. So we've run through the entire cycle of this character is gay now. Three storylines. What's your fourth storyline? And you know they're just going to be... Well, first they're going to get mad because they're being put on the spot because they're going to know what's going on. And then they're going to be plotting their revenge, but they're going to be kind of like... They let me make the character gay, and I don't know shit about this character. Like, I just skimmed the Wikipedia. And then there's, that's, what's your fourth storyline? They'll be like, uh, incels? I'm, I'm sorry? Uh, incels? A and what are the incels doing? Um, they're killing gay people? Why would incels <laughs> who hate women kill gay people? They're, they're killing uh, lesbians? Isn't the whole thing with incels is like women reject them? So wouldn't they kill straight women? Um, there aren't any. There aren't any left in the DC universe. Like, this is ridiculous. And of course, it's some TV writer who has like barely any... Fine. Now, here's, here's the deal. What are you going to do once everyone's gay or at least a majority? Are you going to have, you know, a, a, a crisis, a reset crisis on infinite homosexuals final night of straight people being around like what are you gonna do with this what wh where are you gonna go with this congratulations 
You did the single storyline that's basically allowed in 2021. Now what do you do with it? Everyone on the Bat Family will be accepting. And you know what they're going to be? It's like, we're going to... Oh, God. We're going to have the same spoiler. It's like, I always knew. Really? <laughs> you never said anything. You know, Tim had a pretty open, you know, an honest relationship. I'm not sure if spoiler is a genius, but she's very, very intelligent. You couldn't just have a conversation. It's like, Tim, I think you're gay. He's like, yeah, I was kind of pretending to be straight. I kind of felt like I had to live up, you know, to, ah, yeah, it's 2021. Nobody cares. Um, so <laughs> where do you go from here? Where do you go from here? What's your fourth storyline there, Megan Fitzmartin? That sounds like a fake name. <laughs> so what's your fourth storyline? What is it? What is it? And, and please someone explain to me why it's issue six, but they're like, to be concluded in issue 10. It's like, huh? it's not, it, it, that's not much of a story. <laughs> okay, fine. He's, he's like, I'm gay. And oh, he's probably going to transition. That's, that's what you do. Once you make everyone gay, transition. <laughs> black. <laughs> everyone is a black uh, trans lesbian in the DC universe. Alternate timeline? No, all of them. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.